another week. I'm here with Miss River. We're working through her school. It's almost lunchtime, but the DVD player that we were using died. And now I am taking out her hair because I need to do that. Um, it's not the best angle, but let's see. I need to take out her hair so that I can go ahead and redo it uh, sometime this week. So um, that's what I'm working on now. And she's trying to amaze while I do that. We still have a math lesson to do. And like I said, I still have to uh, uh, figure out what we're going to have for lunch and pull out the meat that we need for dinner. Honey, I need you to turn your head this way so you don't have to move your coloring page. Yeah. Today's Tuesday. It's dinner time, it's 4.51, and I made curry chicken yesterday, but it's all gone. <laughs> and I try to cook for two days, two meals at least, and it's all gone. So today I put together this meal here. I grabbed four packages of frozen spinach, and I chopped up some onions, some garlic, and now I'm sauteing that down. I'm gonna lightly salt that, and really, the flavor of the spinach and the onions and the garlic will carry that. I don't really have to do too much seasoning on that. And uh, then I just bought this hot honey seasoning from Ollie's. So I'm going to take this hot honey seasoning and I'm going to put it on tilapia. Tilapia, I have like, I don't know, a lot of pounds. I want to say eight pounds of tilapia and we can almost eat all eight pounds in one sitting, I think. Let's see how many pounds of tilapia I have. Okay, so I have six pounds of tilapia, and we can eat all six pounds in one sitting because everybody likes tilapia. And then I have two packages of scallops. So I'm going to fry all of that stuff. I'm going to fry the scallops in butter, probably with a few with hot honey, some just with just butter and garlic. And so that's dinner tonight with a side of spinach if you want it. I'm going to make some of the younger kids try it because they need to try stuff. And that's dinner tonight. And, and rice. Like a seasoned rice. Simple garlic, onion, salt, rice, butter. And that is dinner tonight because all the curry got eaten yesterday. And then I'm trying to go to the thrift store just because I would like to go and browse. And my camera battery is about to die. So. Okay, so I just got back from DRM, which is Downtown Rescue Mission. And I got all the clothes that I wanted to get for Ryder and um, books and DVDs and games. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got for $49 and seven. So these are the things I got for Ryder. A pair of pants, another pair of pants. Oh, you're welcome, Ryder. <laughs> mm -hmm. This cute little hooded shirt. And these, the clothes are 50% off. Little t shirt, shorts, another sweater, sweatpants, pajamas, um, a corduroy, little shirt, a t shirt, a muscle shirt, pants, pants, and some sweatpants. So that's good. Yeah, I got these for winter. They were seven dollars, fifty percent off on that. This mommy. game was three dollars. It's missing a couple of fish, but that's okay. And it's got, I think, three or four. I think it's got three of the uh, fishing rods. Yes, Ryder. Catch fish. Yeah. Oh, you need to catch fish. Yeah, and then I got Star Wars, Willy Wonka, Hello Kitty, and then a cartoon. And then I grabbed these books, trying to get all the left behind books, but I actually started the Rapture series too. These were all 99 cents each. So I got the Indwelling, the Assassins, Armageddon, uh, Desecration, and Nikolai. And then I got the Regime, the Rising, and Glorious Appearing. And then these books for the kids. Can never go wrong with Beverly Cleary. Um, socks, Shiloh, which I got two books that have to do with Shiloh. Let me see. So I got the first one, Shiloh, and then the second one, Shiloh Season. Um, and then a book on Jackie Robinson, Ways to Grow Love, Here's Hank. Kids said we already have that, but that's okay. 
Um, new dinos, dinos, sharks, dinos. This is a pop up book. I didn't even check to see if. Mommy, okay. they're for animals. Like animals. Um, uh oh, this one's stuck together pretty good. There's other dino books so again that came up to $49.07, so I'm pretty happy with that. Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear TT. Happy birthday to you. Welcome to this week's vlog. Didn't get to vlog yesterday. It is 11.24. I have started this day out strong, feeling good. And now I'm about to make some nachos for myself. Maybe some kids who want it, but I'm about to make it spicy, so some kids may not want it. Um, and so I have three kids with me, four kids are gone. They want to go, go play kickball with some friends. This week is spring break for public schools and we started school. Kids got most of their work done. And then we got an unexpected call from one of Georgia's friends asking if they wanted to come play kickball. So I sent the four oldest and kept the three youngest with me and they're watching Pocoyo? I say Pocoyo. It's not Spanish, I don't think, but I always want to say it's like Spanish. Um, <laughs> with like a Spanish twist. Pocoyo. I think it's Pocoyo. Pocoyo. That's probably what it is, but I always say Pocoyo. I don't know why. Um, so, got my little nachos right here. I'm about to melt some cheese on it. Gouda. And Swiss. So I hope for these to be delicious, but today is a good day. I'm in the middle of my Bible study. I'm almost finished with it. Um, there's a fair going on today, but I don't know if I'm going because guys, listen, they, it's like $40 a person to go ride foldable rides. I don't know how, I, don't know how I feel about that. I know it's gonna be fun. Like everybody knows, the fair is fun, right, Hazel? Get a chair. <clears throat> the fair is always fun. You want a chip, Hazel? Here. The fair is always fun, but I don't want to spend three hundred fifty-eight dollars to spend an evening on foldable rides. I still haven't decided if we're going or not. <sighs> Guess I'll find out soon. I'm gonna go melt this cheese. Oh, but I think that um, I'm gonna finish up my Bible reading. Mm -hmm. I'm about to eat a piece of Swiss cheese because this is my favorite Swiss cheese. I don't. I didn't even like Swiss cheese until I tried Swiss cheese from Publix. Y'all, I don't know who makes that Swiss cheese, but they do a good job. It is delicious. <sighs> I have all the thing to do things. So laundry is sitting over there. I mean, a piece pieces of apple that I put up for Hazel, but she spit it all over the couch, so I'm not eating it. All right. I just spit some cheese on Hazel. Good thing she doesn't care. All right? You love your mommy, right? You still drink mommy's breast milk, so you don't care if I spit on you a little bit. Now I'm about to sprinkle some of these jalapeno, oh, sorry, jalapeno peppers on here. 
Spicy girl, don't do that. And some more spicy stuff. This it is spicy and good, and I'm pouring it off. Because why not? I should chop up an apple and sprinkle that on my nachos. I know it sounds weird, but I was just eating it with cheese and it tastes delicious. Mm. A little bit of this. Oh girl, please, eat your cracker and leave my stuff alone. And green onions, because green onions goes on everything. I'll put a ton of green onions on that, it's delicious. And last but not least, a dollop of sour cream. All, all these sour cream. Hazel, please. Oops. All right, I'm gonna go eat this. I'm gonna show you this. It's delicious. I've decided I haven't even tasted it yet, and I know it's delicious. But I will come back to you guys in a little bit. Say bye. So see you, people. Say bye, people. <laughs> It is six o'clock or something like that, 6.26. We're getting our afternoon or after dinner walk without our phones. So, it's cold out here. It's 40 something degrees. You have a phone, you have a phoneless walk, babe? Is this a phoneless walk for you? Strip yeah. search, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting for Jordan. Oh. Oh, hi guys. Hello. <laughs> it's now 1045. I have one more thing to do. Which is we got back from our walk. We got to read our book together. Actually. I'm gonna go grab that book. Major Fon and Jordan are reading a book together that go along with the fast at our church. Um, it's called Celebration of Discipline. And it's so good. Um, but um, we read that today. I read three other books to the kids. Now I'm over here eating my kosher salt butter honey granola what do they call that thing the gritty I don't even know what they do I'm trying to be hip like my son the 17 but Jordan told me make sure you do not eat all of that when it comes out of the oven because it's 1046 now and he's in bed but I might all right. I do need to make a second batch, but not tonight. I'm gonna go check, do the checkbook. I'm gonna do the checkbook tonight. I'll put away laundry tomorrow. Um, and that's just that. So don't mind the wet mark on my state, my shirt. She's nursing Miss Hazel and she drools on me when she nurses. So there's that. But peace out for Tuesday. I will see you guys tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. And boom, just like that. It's 12 o'clock on Wednesday morning. <sighs> Devon and I already ran. Oh, you guys want me to change the DVD, right? Okay. Um, the, some of the kid, the older kids are out playing kickball with some friends, and the younger kids are here with me. I am about to do my Bible reading because I try to say like no Bible, um, then I don't do anything else. Um, it's not quite that stringent, but I went on my morning walk and then I came back and did my run.
That's okay, I don't need that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put Angelina Ballerina in for these kids. For the younger ones that are still here. And um yeah, I'm gonna go get my Bible books and get this day started of all things. I need to make more granola. I made um some some kosher salt butter and honey granola yesterday it's all gone kids ate every last bit of it i wanted some this morning it's gone okay it doesn't matter if i ate it last night what matters is that i wanted some this morning Ugh, husband's always chiming in when you didn't ask him anything <laughs> right, so it's after four and we are just finished my Bible reading. Um, I need to stop doing my Bible reading like in the living room with everybody because it's definitely hard to focus. So it took me a longer time to do it than normal. But now I am trying to get a load of laundry in because uh, I have to go to a youth group tonight uh, with a uh, the two oldest. So now I'm just trying to get my regular things done because I slept until, I don't know, 10 o'clock. So uh, we haven't decided what we're gonna have for dinner. I haven't really gotten anything done like I normally do. I would like to get some more granola made because that granola was so good last night and the kids ate it all today. So I uh, guess I will just try to do all these Things and then think about the school day tomorrow because I'm not going to skip the school day tomorrow because I think we have about 10 weeks or so left of school maybe. so I want to stay on track with that so that when summer comes we're actually on track for enjoying summer things so oh, laundry it is yesterday I did three loads today it's looking like I'm getting ready to have at least one load about the others happy thursday i know i know what you're thinking it's a new day and i'm in the same room the same room that i live in the laundry room <laughs> okay um it is what time 9 27 i stayed up way too late last night watching the kidnapping story of kimura 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 mobley because basically I could have been on the jury, I could have been the judge. I was researching all the things last night. So I don't think I went to bed until like one o'clock in the morning. So now um, the kids are still doing a light day of school um, because it's still spring break for public school kids. So the kid, we're doing our Tapestry of Grace, which is our history curriculum. And um, uh, what else are they? Oh, some kids have chosen to do math. Uh, I only have one child that has to do math, so um, I am working with him to get, uh, I think we are doing like an extra, let me see, one, two, three, I think like four extra sheets we got done this week. The kids do two sheets a day, and so I think we got maybe two additional days done of math today, but I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet. I need to take a vitamin now and think about it. Let me go get my vitamin. Um, woke up, went on my walk, went on my morning run, did my Bible reading. Now, I still take prenatal vitamins because I'm still nursing Hazel. Um, I feel like she'll never stop nursing. Anytime she smells me, she wants to nurse. But it's fine, it, it only lasts. You know, it's a small blip in her little life. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm about to do all these things. Uh, I'm about to get some, something in my stomach first. Let me see what my what my breakfast is gonna be this morning. What my mama fuel is gonna be this morning. So uh, I'm gonna go look through the cabinets. We I still need to go to the grocery store, but life is busy. So see what I can find. Mama. 
my mama fuel and I decided to go with a piece of toast and butter with the green onions and cheese and a slice of tomato some kosher salt sprinkled on top so we're meeting I have my 19 ounces here I'm gonna eat that and then go into this day kids are going upstairs but I'm gonna have to come right back now because we gotta get work done time around here and I am just going to clean this table that we like to use as our island, a metal island. And uh, set out sandwich things, um, which would, I don't know, maybe for like 95% of the, of the days we eat sandwiches for lunch, unless there's some leftovers to eat. So I'm about to clean down this island. Some of the kids are making math corrections and some are outside on the trampoline. And uh, I, I'm gonna set up peanut butter and jelly, jelly sandwiches. Some kids will have toast and butter. Um, and that will get us through lunch. That's pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have chicken nuggets or something like that, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these out so that I can move on to the next thing, which is helping or correcting kids' math. Again, I have to sit down and do a lesson with my 11th grader because he's in Algebra 2, and I don't think he understands the lesson, and we're going to work on that together, break that down a little bit farther um because i need to i may not be like i'm not a math genius by any means but i love math it's very black and white to me very simplistic but i can't just jump into it i have to watch the lesson um that he was watching in order to help him because any pretty much everything that i learned in public school this math teacher has a trick for and everything is like built on each other now you can you can obviously do it whatever way will get you the right answer but i find it more helpful when i use the methods that jordan's been learning for these few years of homeschool and then once he's learned the the method great and then if he wants to if he finds an easier way which he always does find something simplistic or some type of shortcut. I don't really care as long as he gets the right answer, but if I'm gonna help him, I like to help him in the style of the math teacher he's been watching. So, oh, that's the goal. I'm gonna go ahead and lay out some cheese sticks. Let's see what we got here. Just turn y'all around. Uh, so. We got some honey turkey breasts. We got some oven classic turkey breasts. We got some mandarin oranges. We have salami buffalo chi buffalo salt chicken breast. Um, I think that's it. Uh, get rid of these bags. And we don't have any more apples. No, what else? We have shredded cheese. I need to try to get rid of. Um, let's just go ahead and get the butter out for whoever's gonna want butter, and tomatoes out for whoever wants tomatoes, and mayonnaise, and yellow mustard. I don't normally buy this yellow mustard, but this one was sugar free, so or no added sugar, might I say? And I think that's it. Um, I need bread. Oh, let me get the jam out. We have been going with this sugar free. Good, good. This is not my favorite because it has chunks of strawberry in it. I don't do chunks. I like nice pureed things. And then this naturals. Creamy. So that peanut butter and jelly is good. My bread, I need to make some bread. And so that's what lunch is. Come get your 
make your own come get your food type thing type deal i don't know if i showed you all this my girl can walk come on girlfriend <gasps> oh girl oh girl look at you oh you fancy huh oh yeah say left right Daddy. left right left hey girl go girl go girl Oh girl, go girl, go girl. <laughs> um, yeah, so got lunch out and let me see what these kids are doing outside. Oh, I don't know, they were on the trampoline. I don't know what happened. Got one in the dirt. Not sure why she's in the dirt, but she needs to get out of the dirt. And then we got three to... Yeah, one of them teaching the others to do a backflip. I know, it's so scary. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. I don't want to learn how to do a backflip. <laughs> Hi, Hazel. ready so I can not waste any time here but already got one of these down I'm on my second one for the day and the goal is to drink let me see let me see how many I'm supposed to drink I think seven of them I'm supposed to drink or like six and some change but I don't, I don't ever get to them. Give it, I don't ever get to all of them. Um, I drink mostly. I most I can get down is about three. So we'll see if I can. Now that I have some accountability with the camera, I can get it done. Okay, it's Friday morning, and here are the shenanigans that's happening. That's a crate because we now have our own dog. Potentially, we have to take said dog to the vet. You wanna? Um, do you wanna? Um, Towel, babe. You really don't want him to bite you. So this is the said cute little Labrador who's scared. Um, and we will, we haven't named him yet, so we'll figure it out. No, no, we haven't. Come here, come here, come here, puppy. But yeah, he won't, he won't come out. So we're trying to get him back in the crate so that we can take him to the vet. We just got back from the vet. Everything is good so far with said name dog. And um, now what's sad is that she's pooped all over the place. He is pooped all over the place. It's a boy, but I'm gonna keep saying she because I don't know why. But she's pooped, he is pooped all over the place. And now Jordan's about to pick him up and bring him into the house, into our laundry room so we can give him a bath. Um, so I'm gonna help him bathe this poopy dog, but we have a dog now, so there's that. He's getting so comfortable. He's like leaning Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.